plenty of that last night at Dancing with the Stars because the biggest story was the unexpected tears. The dance steps are hard enough, add tears on top of that. I don't know how you do it. Such an emotional moment. I mean, you're right. We don't often see a star cry during the middle of a dance, but that is exactly what happened to Lori Hernandez. Who's a mother? Right before the 16-year-old Olympian performed a foxtrot, the show played an emotional video revealing her beloved grandma had passed away last week. I think I saw your, your hands were over uh, Lori's ears. Our producer came over and was like, you'd probably want to cover her ears during the, the package. So I tried. I also, you know, I was breaking down because no one's covering my ears. Lori performed through the tears and earned a perfect score and a standing ovation. How did you possibly focus and get through that? It was a little rough. Val and I were able to, you know, create this connection as brother and sister. At this point, I needed, like, one of my brothers. and He was there for me. He helped pick me up. So, um, yeah, <laughs> dance it out. Also dancing it out, IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe and pro partner Sharna. A knee injury had kept her out of the competition for the past two weeks. The pair performed an epic Argentine tango. Sharna was blindfolded, and James ended the dance doing a handstand on a chair. In hindsight, I'm a little crazy, <laughs> and that might have been a little, well, it was a risk. Now that I think about it, Ooh. I'm starting to think maybe she didn't want to, she didn't want to dance with me anymore, and she was trying <laughs> to re-injure herself. As for the elimination, the couple leaving right now is Tara and Sasha. Despite earning two perfect scores, it was reality TV star Tara Jolet saying goodbye. I really felt like I gave it my all, and I feel like I'll never be the same after Dancing with the Stars, so I'm very grateful. Hey, at least we went on on a high note. Right from episode one, I have loved her positivity, and she has not lost it. Well done, Tara.